Welcome back to Midford Pottery. Uh, previous videos we threw some yarn balls. So this is just a quick video on running through how I complete these. I've done a couple already. They've all been trimmed. So they've all all the bases have been trimmed. And now I'm starting to put this bit in here, the swirl and the holes for the needle like that and what we do that last bit across that bridge there we leave that in as long as we can stops the uh, top edge warping too much so I've done two already so I'm going to run through just get them out of the way I'm going to run through doing a few more now uh, these ones have gone a bit uh, a bit different, so I've gone a bit of uh, got a bit of texture on these as well. So what we're going to do, we are going to have a wheel if we need it, and some various trimming tools. So we'll get the camera tilted down in position. So we can see what's going on. So I'm gonna, gonna run through doing this one and then I'm gonna complete the rest and then we'll have a final shot of all the pieces together. All right, tools we're gonna to use. Water and a sponge, just a little sponge. Uh, we've got a couple of different size uh, hole tools there and a drill bit so it gives us three different sizes got just a wooden pin tool and instead of using a potter's knife I'm using a scalpel we've got to be quite precise with our, our carvings and we don't want to put too much pressure on the clear because it does get a bit fragile so we'll get that on our wheel to start with uh, we'll just put them upside down so first things first, because it does shrink, I tend to put a slightly larger hole than I need. And on the other ones, I sort of aim. I mean, it's, it really, it's a bit of a potluck where we aim, but uh, we've got to put a hole in there to start with. I usually go just under the, the halfway mark normally. So we get our hole till pick our spot on our item uh, oh there's a one there that's got lots of blank clear so so we just push that in and then give it a twist and that gives us our starting point like so if you can pick it up on the camera so you get a got a hole to start there now I do need a sponge to rest this on so it doesn't fall off the table. Get that. So this is an old sponge just with a middle hollowed out so you can sort of tip items onto it like that. Now the swirl so I'll use the wooden pin tool just to make our lines first so what I found is if you do too much of an overhang on the swirl it, it sags in the in the firing process so we're gonna go start we'll do the bottom one first so I'm gonna follow that curve around so that becomes the right hand side one so there's there's one line and then we're gonna follow that round to pair them up So, 
have a look. So now is the chance to change your mind if you want to. So that's our marks on there. Now the tricky bit of cutting them out. And what I tend to do is across the top I cut it straight across leaving a few millimetres of clear and take that rim bit out last thing and then about halfway we'll cut it across halfway and what that does is you're taking a, the curly bit of clay out in two two goes so you're not putting too much pressure on the clay and then it's a case of slowly work your way around especially this bit because the tighter curls and if you're happy with your marks try and try and follow them as best you can So I'm going to go nearly up the edge, not quite to the edge. And then do the other line. And then when it starts to sort of become two halves, it gets a little bit more precarious because it comes a bit more fragile. You don't want to twist it. And there. So that's our <coughs> that's our lines cut now. And I'll try and do this on the side so you can see. So just get a our pin tool. And we've got to gently cork that out. So we've got that bit. So this bit here, the, the bit that's left curling round, that's the bit that flexes quite a bit. And you want to flex it as little as possible. And you've just got to persevere to take that bit of clay out and then you end up like so. So we've got our cut out. And now, I need a skinnier sponge than that, I think. So this is the time to uh, smooth any rough edges off, especially this clay because it's quite rough, so it's just a narrow-ended sponge and we're just going to gently go over them edges you don't want your wool to snag on any sharp bits of clear so that's the outside done now I found the insides the hardest bit to do but because this sponge is round gives it a bit of a purchase so it doesn't flex the clear too much just run the sponge around getting rid of the rough edges like so so we've got that so now we're just going to free it up we're going to cut that little bit off there I'll 
have to turn it away from the camera I'm afraid so I can do that. I tend to go up towards my finger and put a sponge there so I don't slice my finger. And I just cut through the clear and then hold it there. that takes that bit of clear out of the way and keep that and then we want to smooth that bit so we end up like so and then this bit and just until it dries up we're just going to put that back in there like that and this is the point where the little wooden pin tool comes in so when you look at the profile of the swirl you can see if you've missed any bit or if there's any gouges in that clear you can just use that point just to fine tune any bits or if you have to just gently run the scalpel over just to smooth out them curves a little bit that looks okay Right, I'm happy with that. And then the last bit, where I've been putting on my later ones, when you're finished with your needles, just put two holes in the side with a slightly smaller hole cutting tool. And it's just somewhere to rest your needles. So we're going to pick there. it about there now again we're just take any rough edges off and there we have take that out the way so you can see we have a yarn ball Make sure there's no dry bits on it. Good job. So I've got a few more of them to do. So I'll come back in a minute. Well, a few minutes. And we'll have a roundup of our two, four, six. Is it six? I'm sure I did eight. Oh yes, two more there. Our eight yarn balls. So I'll see you in a minute. A few moments later. Right. That is the last one. Done. What's that? So, I'm just put these over here. I'll have a final shot of them. Excuse the wobbly cam. So there we go, so we got four and another four there, eight, our yarn balls. We will put the wobbly cam back here and sign off. It's getting short, hello. So thanks for watching. So uh, there should be a part three hopefully with these when they are bisque fired and I'll do a before and after glaze shot if I remember. So, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment. Apparently it does help these small channels grow, so do it for your favorite YouTuber, it does help, apparently. And, clears the way, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, bye for now. Thank you.